And I went to get a job and I discovered what structural engineers did. And I thought, what a waste of my time. As I've gone on, I've realized that people really don't understand what's going on. You've been in academia for over 30 years. Um, why have you stayed so long in this field? Well, it's very hard when you start out to know, you know, what, what you're doing, right? So, so when I was an undergraduate, I mean, basically I came into civil engineering because I was interested in physics. And at the time, physics was only interested in little particles and they kind of still are, right? And so I wanted to do something practical. So I ended up doing civil engineering and you know, I was a student, the structures is easy, right? You, you all understand that. Everyone does structures, you know what to do. It's straightforward. And I thought that's what I wanted to do. And I went to get a job and I discovered what structural engineers did, at least what I was told. And I thought, oh no, I do not, definitely do not want to do to do that. I mean, basically what, what they said was, so one of the experiences, I mean, I had a few, but there was a major power station in the UK, uh, was about, 20 years work for the company that won it and it was explained to me that the chief engineer who'd already designed one or two of these power stations were basically set it all out and then all the junior engineers job was to prove that he was right uh, and, and do the detail and I thought well what a you know what a waste of my time so I, I then you know had a rethink right about where I'm going and I then went back to the university and said well look you know this is back to my growing up on the beach and I said, well, look, I'm really fascinated by how sand moves around on, on the beach. And, you know, this is a surfing thing, you know, why, why the breaks change from, from uh, following storms. And I'd, I'd love to be able to do something to do with that. And the professor at Cambridge said, well, that's way too complicated a problem. Um, you know, you can't do that. And I mean, subsequently it's been done, okay? But at the time it was seen as too hard. So then I, I didn't know what to do, right? There was a one year course in soil mechanics and soil mechanics at Cambridge, I had two professors, Schofield and Roth, that some people will have heard their names. Uh, they wrote a, a very influential book in the 1960s, which really is now taught to all students who do soil mechanics. So they were big names uh, and they were interesting characters. And so I thought, you know, I'll give that a go. The more I did, the more interested I became. And I've never stopped being interested. My, I'm interested in physics. I'm under, in understanding what the hell's going on. And as I've gone on, I've realized that people really don't understand what's going on. You know, it's, it's been enough to keep me motivated and fascinated. And there's no shortage of problems to, to look into and play around with.